afternoon. Today's Thursday, January 17, 2019. I'm Ben Smolden. That plant growing on the moon has died. We'll tell you about it. And I'm Anthony Flores. Have you changed your passwords lately? The news is next. Good news, today's the end of the semester and tomorrow is a day off. You'll also have Monday off for Human Rights Day, so this is a four-day weekend. Enjoy your time off. When we return on Tuesday, the new semester begins and our next day off is President's Day, February 18th. If you need time for time, you'll need to talk to Mr. Gans or Mr. Diplock immediately. Remember, if you see an NCA in any of the grades, it means you are not um, eligible for your credit and you'll need time for time to qualify for it. Want to know about the STEM Academy is all about? Come out to the STEM Expo tonight at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Students will be given TED Talks and innovation and students' work will be on display. This is your chance for your parents and students to see what's going on. The Red Cross will be here for their annual winter blood drive on Tuesday, January 22nd. If you are interested in donating blood to this very worthy class, cause, please sign up for an appointment in A143 in Mr. Dion's room through this week. Teachers, grades for the first semester are due January 23rd at 3 p.m. Have your grades either printed or turned in so, or email them to Mrs. Fisher a copy of your grades. If you don't want to print them, check your email for more details if you need them. You've seen them in the movies and now they're here. The cafeteria now offers vending machine meals. Stop by and check them out and get yours today. Today's activity is girls basketball at Ridgeview versus Ridgeview at home. Winter is coming, so make sure you are prepared. When driving, adapt and adjust to road conditions to ensure you and your friends are safe. Keep extra supplies in your car just in case. It is also important you dress appropriately with warm clothes for winter conditions. Expect the unexpected. Be prepared. Hygiene is a necessary attribute of a daily routine for people. If you do not wash your hands before you eat, you increase the risk of getting a stomach flu. A number of infectious diseases can be spread from one person to another by contaminated hands. These diseases include infections such as coliform, salmonella, staphylococcus, hepatitis A, and influenza. Washing your hands properly can help prevent the spread of those nasty diseases. Do not forget to do such a simple task and wash your hands every time before you eat if you do not want to get infected. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Makers are great when to see Dr. Keller today. Today's high is going to be a 49 with a low of 34, and tomorrow's high is going to be a 47 with a low of 38. Back to you, Anthony. Thank you, Ben. The first plant to be grown on the moon by humans is likely dead already. Chinese scientists said Thursday, just days after revealed a cotton seed had sprouted on a lunar lander and had become what well, was possibly the first plant life to grow on Earth's nearest neighbor. Scientists ended the experiment when they shut down the power remotely. The seeds were contained inside a special container suited in uh, China's Chang's 4 probe, which became the first successful mission to go to the far side of the moon on January 3rd. The largest collection of breach data in history has been discovered, comprising of more than 770 million email addresses and passwords posted to a popular hacking form in mid-December. The 87 gigabyte data dump was discovered by the security researcher Troy Hunt, who called the co upload collection number one said it was probably made up of different individual data breaches from literally thousands of different sources, rather than representing a single hack from a very large service. But the work to piece together previous breaches has resulted in a huge collection. In total, there are 1,160,253,228 unique combinations of email addresses and passwords. Hunt wrote, and 21,222,975 unique passwords. The SAT word of the day is intrepid, which means fearless and bold. You can use it this way. Being intrepid, uh, Macy was willing to jump into the water with sharks. That's the news. Thanks for watching, and remember, live, live the, the wildcat, wildcat way. way.